Hello, so today I'm going to show you all how to create a mobile advert for your Construct 3 project. So as always, let's start with a demonstration. So I've created a very basic advent calendar. And what you do, you just rub out a box and behind there, there'll be an image. And when you press on this reset button, and you can click off there to get that off. Click on it, but if you press on yes, it'll delete everything we've erased off there and it'll then show up an interstitial advert. So that's one where the advert fills the entire screen. I just click there, so you can see it's gone now. And you won't actually see an advert because I've not got anything set up yet. And also you won't actually see adverts in the browser as well. So just bear that in mind. So, so if we want to get the advert set up, let's start by putting some things in. So we'll add the Google Play plugin. And we also want to have the mobile advert plugin. So I'm just double tapping and then selecting the mobile advert there. And let's sort the Google Play stuff out first. So if you just click on there, it brings up this properties window uh, under application ID Android. If here we want to put in com dot company name dot name of your app. So if I just go up at the top here, hopefully you'll have already filled all this information in, your author name, your email, description, etc, etc. So under ID, let's just copy, copy and paste that in. So you have to actually do this before you can publish your app. Let's go back into Google Play and copy and paste that in there. And just in the event sheet, Google Play and we want to go on signed in Google Play request player details and I also like to add something else extra in here so on signed out sign back in again just in case that does end up happening to somebody. Perhaps if they're driving through a tunnel, they lose signal, something like that. So this is uh, the Google Play bit done. So let's sort out the mobile advert. So once we click on here, we get this properties window. And I'm gonna start by filling in the publisher ID. So in order to do this, first of all, let's go into Google AdMob. So it's admob.google.com forward slash home forward slash. If you haven't set up an admob account, just click on sign up, follow the instructions. Once you have done that, click on sign in and get your, goes through your Google account, I believe. Uh, it brings up this sort of screen and you want to go on to Close that one down. So you click on to your settings. You then click on account information, which uh, I'm just going to go over here. So this is actually done in Microsoft Paint. Just trying to hide my publisher ID. I don't want to share that information, it is private. So you'll come up with this sort of screen. And you want to see pub dash, and there'll be a long line of numbers. Copy all of that. Go back into your Construct 3 project. And either paste it or type it in. I'm just going to make something up just for the, just to show what it kind of looks like. And we've got to do Android application ID. So go back into Google AdMob 
and so if I've got a page set up so you click on apps and you want to click on to add app now this annoying pop-up thing comes up here it's really annoying uh, but if you just go just to the right of it you might just be able to click behind it it's like a very thin sliver just click on that click on android and we want to put it in the google play store but i haven't published it yet or I, i'm pretending that i haven't published it yet so i'm going to click on no i do recommend that you don't publish your app first i'd, I'd get all your, your adverts set up first that's why I, I like to do it this way around so continue come up with a name so i'm just going to call it demo advent calendar and i'm going to leave that on there click on add app and successfully added demo and then we click on create add unit and what we do i think i can click on there yeah so we go on interstitial so this is the full screen advert give it an appropriate name so i like to go with the name of the app plus the type advert it is you might have a better system but it's entirely up to you and then when you click on create add unit well, let's just close this down uh, you, you'll see a screen that looks very much like this and again I've just blanked these very sensitive information out the important thing to recognize is that in the middle here there's a, a wavy uh, dash line i think it's called a tilde and on this one it has a forward slash just uh, try and remember keep that that in mind and you want to copy this one with the tilde here and if we go into construct 3 just type that in so let's go back and have a look so it's cat-app-pub cat-app-pub and that will actually be your publishing account so that will be the same number this and then it's a, a tilde I don't know if I can do one of those on my keyboard let's just type in and then it'll just be a random set of numbers okay and we want to do a privacy policy URL so I've actually set my privacy policy on something called sites.google.com. It's a place where you can make a completely free website and it uses the uh, Google Drive memory. So you get like 15 gigabytes for free, uh, which is pretty great. It's more than enough for this. And yeah, dead easy to do uh, obviously create something of your own this is this is uh, what I've created just to give you a demonstration of what it, what it can look like um, once you've set up a website you might have some other place for a website uh, you want a, a page privacy policy page type that in so that's this section done and we want to add some stuff into the events now so i want to say when we tap on this reset sprite we want to create the advert so add action mobile advert we want to cr 
create interstitial advert. Ooh, go next. And this time, um, if I go back to this screen, so where you see this dash here, we want to copy all of this. And we want to put it into here. So I'm just going to type some stuff up, just making it up as I'm going along. And this time we need the forward slash and then it'll be a random bunch of numbers. And if you leave it on true, it will create the advert and then it'll show it straight away. I don't want to have that on my app. So I'm just going to click on false because I want to have it so that when, when you click on the reset button, this green box pops up and then if you click on that, that green box, then it will show the advert. So to do that, I'm just going to go mobile advert, show interstitial advert. So that's, that's all the events done. And I've got here, it's ticked on test mode. When you do publish it onto the Google Play Store, you want to uncheck that and then publish, go menu, project, export, and then create your APK. Um, there are a few things I would recommend before going straight into doing that. So first of all, I'd like I think it's best to test your adverts just to make sure that they're working how you expect them to and everything's in place how you like. So I would recommend going test mode, then create your APK, uh, rename it so to something like test and then the name of your app and then, and then you put it onto your mobile phone and then you can test it out. I have got a video demonstrating on YouTube how to put your APK from Construct 3 to a mobile phone. So I'll put a link in the description. Definitely re recommend checking that out. And if you do put it on your phone, just make sure you got it on test mode. If you do forget, and you end up seeing real adverts, you can get your account banned. So super important to do that. And then when you're ready and you're happy, untick it, create a new APK and publish that one. Uh, there are probably a few more things I'd want to go through. Let's have a little check. Ah, yeah, so let's go into here. So many windows. Let's see what is what. So, is this one? Okay, so once um, you've got your app, as you can see, there's so the picture will just display this grey Android logo. And what we want to do is once it's created the, the ad unit and the app is published onto the Google Play Store, so probably allow, I don't know, a few days, a week perhaps. You want to come back into Google AdMob. You click on your, your app. So click on here. And you want to click on to App Settings. So I think it's this one here you'll get to this sort of screen and then you want to click on this button add which will then take you to this sort of screen and you just type in any anything like your app name or your developer name or your app ID click on search and then once it finds uh, your app just click on um, 
click on it, make sure that it's selected, and then it'll soon be all linked up and working great. Um, another thing I'd like to go over, if I go on to on to settings there is this thing over here called test devices so there's something that you don't have to do but it's I recommend it I did it yesterday myself and it's just that sort of extra uh, security just knowing that um, when you're doing test ads um, it's like a sort of safety net just to make sure your account isn't going to get banned so if, if we do click on here we get to a screen that looks like this you just click on add test device so this is my what I've typed my device name is and you get this over here this is actually um, it gives instructions if you hover over here think if you go onto your phone and you click on your settings and then click on Google and then ads I think you'll you'll see like an advertising ID and that's what you'll type in over here and the purpose of it is basically if you do say if I go on to here so if you just so happen to forget to click on test mode and you put it onto your phone and you're displaying what would happen as you display real adverts having this test device it just sort of um, prevents getting real adverts on your phone by mistake you know so it's that extra layer of protection uh, so super important with this button um, I should also probably mention that having a test device isn't 100% going to um, protect you because if you do have um, multiple ad networks, so if you have AdMob and another one, um, there is a name for it. I think it's like um, Ad Mediation, I think it's called. I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that one. Uh, but I personally don't. Do that, I just keep it real simple, just use AdMob, um, and then I don't have to worry about that sort of problem. I think I've probably covered everything now. Um, if there is any questions, you know, please do leave a comment below if um, if you need any help with anything, you know, I don't mind helping out. So uh, yeah, that's that's all I want to say really. Hope it helps you out and good luck with your project. Thank you for watching.